Hey everybody, it's Coach Michelle over there. It's Coach Noel. We are Biz Chat by Faith Over Fear Business Chicks. And we wanted to come on today just to talk a little bit about how impacted we have been by Leif Hetland and all of his amazing books and his teaching on the orphan spirit. Today, um, we were just musing, kind of, weren't we, Coach Noel, about how we met each other and that we are entrepreneurs and we, um, actually say, <laughs> I say often, I guess that the best self-help program you can ever be on is becoming an entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of where we actually um, start bringing up all the dross and it comes to the surface. <laughs> so yeah. um, we kind of found very quickly that we have an orphan spirit, didn't we? <laughs> And, um, not anymore, though. <laughs> not any, well, you know, it does pop up here and there. I think there's it's a never ending well that kind of keeps revealing itself. But um, we, um, I think, met in an entrepreneur group as well when they started talking about principles of kingdom entrepreneurship and orphan spirit and poverty spirit and um, how that kind of comes out in your business and the spirit of um, competition. And I would just say that this journey of entrepreneurship has led me to the teaching of life. And I'm so grateful because other people had heard it first and told me about it. And um, that's where I met you. And we started this um, amazing journey together, mm -hmm. teaching other people how to become faith-based entrepreneurs, lacking the, the start that we had with the um, orphan <laughs> spirit. So um, what can you take away, I guess, do you take away from um, what you learned the most in your journey of becoming an entrepreneur and how this orphan spirit manifested itself, reared its kind of ugly head and told you you needed to work on something and you're so grateful you had um, books like these to yeah. <laughs> lead the way. Yeah, I I read the book Orphan Spirit many, many years ago um, when a friend called me out and <laughs> it was pretty profound. And, you know, and then God heals and refines. And then it was towards the end of last year that I read Called to Rain. And Called to Rain kind of felt like it put the cap on mm -hmm. the information from about the orphan spirit in terms of, I'm a driver and on, most entrepreneurs are right. Like we want to get things done and move forward. And what I realized in reading that book, and I just, I took my time with it and marinated in it was that living from a place of rest and relationship, living from God instead of for God, mm. it shifted everything. And really my business began to prosper and grow and resource started to come to me when I got that lesson. So when I learn that I am a daughter of God's and I live from that place, instead of trying to live up to that place, when I live from that authority and that wholeness, um, that's, that was the game changer for my business. And I don't really have words to say how meaningful these materials have been for me and for my journey. Hmm, so good. I know for me um, that I secretly, I think I, well, not even secretly, probably more openly than I realized, like I couldn't really honor people well um, for what they were doing because part of me always felt like it was a competition internally mm -hmm. um, that I would want to celebrate what other people were doing, whether it was entrepreneur wise or other ways, celebrate their successes. But inside I felt less than and um, everything that somebody else did seemed to take away from me. I felt like their pluses mm -hmm. were my minuses. And this is one of the things I've been using even with my um, teen kiddos this day, these days is, you know, you, social media, everything coming on just makes you feel less than, less than, less than. And um, I, I love that when we are no longer orphans and we don't have that self-doubt um, nagging at us anymore. Nothing's a competition anymore. Nothing. There's no FOMO that um, somebody else got something that now we can't anymore. Right. There's there's no lack in the kingdom and yeah. understanding that our inheritance is ours and nothing can take away. There's no minusing that anybody can do and except for that we allow it in our own heads because our hearts aren't um, understanding our place in the love of the Father. And so I'm so grateful 
um, to feel like the freedom to breathe and know that I've got all I need in my father's care as I launch businesses, help other people. Now you and I, we help other people launch businesses um, in the father's care in from that place of capacity that he carries, not toiling in our own capacity um, because we feel like we need to do something for God. So Leif, thank you so much for yeah. uh, sharing everything that God has taught you being willing to be vulnerable and put it out there and put it on paper so that um, others could leave breadcrumbs for us and then we could finally find those books ourselves yeah. and uh, we're so grateful and um, blessings on everything in your future yeah mm -hmm.